What's up, YouTube? Infected Zenon here, coming at you guys with a new episode of Card Thought. I'm not even sure what episode this is, so uh, without further ado, let's get started. So, you know, uh, Burning Knucklers, they need, you know, <clears throat> support cards to make them a better competitor deck. Competitor, because that's a word. Um, it's not like the deck is bad. The deck is actually pretty, I wouldn't say high budget. It's probably would cost you from scratch a hundred dollars to make the whole deck, and it's pretty powerful. I'm not even gonna lie. So, yeah. Uh, so, as you can see, Spar, Glassjaw, that's Spar, Glassjaw, and Headgeared are all here on this picture. This is a spell card coming out of Shadow Spectre. It's normal and its effect reads: Send the top card of your deck to the graveyard, then target one battling box in your graveyard. Special summon that target in face-up defense position. You can only activate one burning knuckler spirit per turn what is this a monster reborn on crack what does this mean you can do so many plays okay first off let's say you mail um forgot the name of it but the collude the collude of the deck um let's say you mail that okay so you can banish it from your graveyard so that your battling box you can gain a thousand life points um and you can get a free SS onto your field. Then you can almost something, something with the Blade Armor, Excalibur, Vidioc, all of those possible plays to go and OTK and destroy your opponent. You can also use this in a hybrid, maybe Light Swarm Battling Boxers. I was really thinking of it because if you would think about it, they have really good synergy. Sending to the graveyard in Battling Boxers is, is um, you know, something that they really like to do. Light Swarms have a really strong L engine. I'm thinking of combining both archetypes. It's kind of awkward in a sense, but it's not really because you can go with Garoth and Jane to make the Warrior XYZs or any pretty much. You can go Lumina Wolf, stuff like that. Lila to go into really high plays. Raikou for the milling. JD dropping JD is really strong, and then use its effect to blow up everything. Lidioke stays attached and at 3k. Stuff like that. Like, I don't know. Like, I feel like this deck is a really powerful, relevant deck that you can easily make like. Battling Boxer Sworn, something like that, or Boxer Sworn, or Battling Sworn, Battling, or Light Boxers, I don't know. You have to make a really interesting name for it, Mono Mermail, you know, th th those interesting names and stuff like that. Uh, Esperova, Agrees, Yugi, he's volume 13, and uh, I don't even know them. Yu-Gi-Oh's X was irrelevant, Bujin, Muzikobuchi, Azurai, Silver Dragon, Bujin Relic, Ohabari, stuff like that. You know, then there's... Grenade or Slogger Keyst and stuff like that. Um, I think that this card will sort of be relevant um, because I would probably run two in this deck because it's a free monster reborn, it's a good mill, and it just is the added support that this deck really needs. Uh, it does, it really is. All they need is a better searcher, which they'll probably be getting, um, and then that deck will be really strong. And I am probably going to start picking up all the pieces that I need for the deck because I really do think it's a really fun deck to play. Um, Lady Oak is just too good. Um, so let me know what you guys think about this card in the comment section below. Make sure to like this video to help out the Infect the Xenon Fund, I guess. Um, Infect the Xenon Fund needs the help. I will be making more deck profiles and openings if you guys can click an ad. So, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Infect the Xenon, signing out. Peace, guys.